Relay competitions are among favorites for coaches, athletes and fans. But what is the secret behind a successful relay? Is it only the sum of individuals that brings glory to a team and battle to the hearts of a whole country? We search for these answers on a series of web interviews. It was 2012 when a Swiss women relay competed for the first time in a world-class event, and their goal was not to get lapped. Eight years later, following a maiden top three finish in Österschund, the team became a regular fighter for podium spots. Uh, Östersund was special because it was big, just um, emotionally. When you see the girls and uh, you look in their eyes and uh, you know that they worked so hard for it. Yeah, it was for us, it was a, a big journey and also a long journey. Um, my first relay was in Oberhof and uh, we got lapped and it was like we weren't that much disappointed because it happened um, sometimes then <laughs> during this time. I just know about the past and um, it was always the problem that they got lapped. Um, but we grew as a team uh, every year making a step forward and um, getting better. Yeah, they de developed the last years getting older <laughs> also and uh, got a little bit more routine maybe then with the podium we were we were surprised but uh, we achieved our dream dream goal <laughs> one of the peculiarities of the swiss women relay is that it often features three sisters such unique trait might easily become an obstacle for whoever finds herself as the fourth in the team but this was not the case for Heki. For me, it was at the beginning, it was a little bit weird to be with a family uh, in a team. But from the first moment on, they treated me like a family member. So it was really easy to get along with them. It's, it's the same like um, if they were no sisters for, for me, because um, it's quite a, a good team spirit in the team. And over the years, we grew even stronger together, so I would say we are family now. I think maybe we have seven sisters, it feels sometimes like this. It was the oldest of the sisters, Selina Gasparin, that started this journey for Swiss women biathlon and with her individual successes inspired more girls to follow and finally create a competitive relay. Yeah, it was um, a big team goal for us to be on the podium. Maybe you can say also for Selena. For sure, Heki is an example of this team's growth, as following the first ever relay podium for her country, she took her maiden one individually. I grew with the team and for me it was really cool to see um, how this journey went for uh, the team and also for myself. With all this emotion and this push, it was kind of uh, also the relay's fault that I got my own podium. <laughs> From getting lapped to be on the podium, there's been lots of stops covered on this journey. Yet, it feels like it has not reached the final destination. The journey was more of a road trip because we had some stops in it, we had some turnarounds, moments where we drove really fast. It was interesting and it was uh, always uh, really cool to be in this journey and to see where, where the road is going. <laughs> This year, the road will lead them to Finland, and on November 5th, it will be time for the first relay in Kondelahti.